गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस वीडियो फॉर क्लास नाइन स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग दिस वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स फ्रॉम एक्सरसाइज नंबर सिक्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फ्रैक्शन बेस्ड प्रॉब्लम हेयर वी हैव टू ऑलवेज एज्यूम द फ्रैक्शन बी इन लेट द फ्रैक्शन बी एक्स अपॉन वाई सो दिस एक्स अपॉन वाई इज गिव द आइडिया ऑफ नोमिनेटर अपॉन डिनोमिनेटर मीन्स दिस इज द फ्रैक्शन now the 10th question we are going to discuss according to 10th question you see the 10th question 10th question is if 1 is added to the numerator means if you are adding 1 to the numerator only to numerator of the fraction it becomes 1 upon 5 it means there is no need to change in the denominator so here you can write x plus 1 upon y because uh, this is given and it is equal to 1 upon 5 so after that cross multiply and you will get the equation so the first equation has come 5x minus y is equal to minus 5 this is the first equation now we have to move for the second equation what is the second equation look at the 10th question again in this question it is given if one is taken from the denominator now this time we have to take from the denominator mean we have to subtract one from the denominator so here it will be x upon y minus y one is equal to one upon seven. So that time the fraction is becoming one upon seven. So cross multiply, seven x is equal to y minus one, and seven x minus y is equal to minus one. This is equation number two. Okay. Now we have to solve this first equation and second equation, and we will get the value of x and y. So we are going to solve this first equation and the second equation. So look at here what we did because y the coefficients of y are equal. So by changing sign y is cancelled out. X the value of x is two. From here we got the y the value of y is fifteen. So x is two, y is fifteen. So therefore you can say the fraction is x upon y. So the value of x is two, the value of y is fifteen. So your answer is two upon fifteen. Okay. So this is the final answer. So what you have to see. first you have to assume the fraction is x upon y then apply the first condition over here get the first equation then apply the second condition here cross multiply you'll get the second equation solve both the equation by any method i solve by the elimination method so i got x is equal to 2 y is equal to 15 so finally we get the fraction is x upon y that is 2 upon 15 so this is the way to solve the fraction based questions just have a look of the complete question now student we have to start the next type the next type is two digit base problem two digit means this is two digit 10 is two digit 11 is two digit 51 is two digit number so this is ones place this is tens place ones place tens place ones place tens place so this is called two digit number so student what you have to do such type of problem we have to discuss so any digit suppose we have 51 so how can we write it you know this we can write 5 into 10 plus 1 so this number this is the this is called ones digit or sorry tens digit and this one is called ones digit okay so the what is the format the format is 10x plus y so here the number which is multiplied with the 10 it is called tens digit and the digit which is written independently this is called ones digit so one is this y is 1 and this x is basically 5 here so this what this complete is called a number just like 51 but x and y are called digits so here here you two things you should uh, understand what is digits by digits digits are from 0 to 9 total 10 digits are there so by the help of these 10 digits we can make any number so x and y are the uh, digits and complete 10x plus y is a number so so here when we are starting the question of this two digit so always you have to remember you should let two digit number two digit number b 10x plus y so this is the first step now let's start this question number 13 in a two digit number the sum of the digit is 7 so here we have a digit at x and y so the sum of x plus uh, x and y is 7 so here you can write x plus y is equal to 7 this is first equation okay now move for the next condition 
इफ द नंबर विद द ऑर्डर ऑफ द डिजिट रिवर्स मींस एक्स और वाई जो है अपनी प्लेस को रिवर्स करेंगे तो आपका नंबर क्या था टेन एक्स प्लस वाई नाउ द न्यू नंबर इज व्हाट न्यू नंबर आपका बन गया टेन वाई प्लस एक्स एक्स और वाई ने अपनी पोजीशन क्या कर दी है चेंज कर दी एक्स की जगह पे वाई आ गया वाई की जगह पे चेंज कर जैसे फिफ्टी को फिफ्टीन लिख सकते हैं हम लोग कहने का मतलब है तो न्यू नंबर तो वो न्यू नंबर के बारे में क्या कंडीशन पूछ रहा है He is asking that if the number with the order of the digit reverse is ट्वेंटी एट ग्रेटर देन टॉय इज द यूनिट डिजिट ऑफ द ओरिजिनल नंबर सो दिस न्यू नंबर बेसिकली टेन वाई प्लस एक्स इज इक्वल टू इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी एट ग्रेटर ट्वेंटी एट मोर देन टॉय इज द यूनिट डिजिट वॉट इज द यूनिट डिजिट ऑफ द ओरिजिनल दिस इज यूनिट डिजिट एंड दिस इज टेन जी टॉय इज द यूनिट डिजिट सो हियर सेकेंड कंडीशन इज टेन वाई प्लस एक्स दिस न्यू नंबर आफ्टर रिवर्सिंग द डिजिट इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी एट प्लस टू वाई सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू सिंप्लीफाई इट सो इट इज एक्स प्लस एट वाई इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी एट सो दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर टू ना विल सॉल्व एक्स एंड वाई एंड विल गेट द आंसर सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर एंड द नंबर बी फोर्टी थ्री बिकॉज एक्स इज थ्री एंड वाई इज कमिंग What is the value of y? Y is three. X is four. So number is ten x plus y. So ten into four plus three that is forty three. So student, take the help from these example and try to solve the questions which I will assign you in a in your WhatsApp group. Thank you very much.